Hello everybody and welcome back to Rainbow Crafts. My name is Colton and today we will be making for you the final soap in our March Lucky Charm collection and that of course is our Clover Soap. This soap is inspired by the green clover charm in Lucky Charms and it is scented with an Irish Spring duplication scent. So stay tuned if you want to see how Zach made this clover inspired soap. Alrighty, Zach is going to take away the soap making video for today. So like I mentioned in the introduction, this is going to be our Shamrock Showers soap, which we have had every year since we've started making soap for the month of March. And that is because it is my dad's uh, birthday request soap. We used to do birthday soaps for the month that our family members had birthdays in. And his favorite soap is Irish Spring, so that's where this came from. Just like all of our other soaps, we will blend up our custom oil blend, which is in the description box below, our lye water, some colloidal oatmeal, and then we will add in the fragrances. But before we do that, Zach is going to portion off just a little bit, about two cups worth of unscented soap base and that is because we wanted a white pure white section and we did add some green sea clay in with our fragrance oils which is why that um liquid that zach just poured in there is that color is because it is sea clay and then some irish spring fragrance oil from wholesale supplies plus zach will push that clay and the fragrance oil through a mesh strainer just to get out any lumps and clumps to make the finish bar nice and smooth. And then he will just blitz that up with our stick blender. We are going to leave the unscented soap batter alone because there is uh, some colorant in there, some white colorant, and sometimes white colorants tend to make things accelerate just a little bit. And then we will portion off half of the soap batter in a separate container because we will be doing two different colors of green for this design. A more kind of like neon, really like green green. Super descriptive there, I know. And then in the other container in that Cambro there, we will be doing a more like grassy, kind of mossy green. I believe this is apple moss green apple moss mica from Brambleberry or something along those lines. And then we will just whisk those together with a hand whisk and then off screen we also, Zach also blitzed them up with a stick blender because this fragrance oil didn't cause any sort of acceleration at least at this stage here. The top top tip for us is that if you don't know how a fragrance oil is going to behave, hand whisking everything together generally um, is a good idea because it doesn't make the soap base accelerate any more than it normally would. And then we are using our slab divider here from Heritage Workshop Supply and we will be alternating those two greens in the cells there so basically half of the loaf when you cut it is the dark green and then half is that lighter kind of pale green there that's in that white pore picture in the upper left or bottom left corner of the screen and then we'll just speed up the footage here a little bit this soap is one of our most popular. Uh, it gets requested, especially towards the middle part and the end of the year, and we usually have brought it back towards the last part of the year as a fan favorite. I don't think we did that this past December, but we usually do because people always request it. This is a slightly less scented bar than the actual Irish Spring Bar that you can buy at the store which is nice and then also our base soap recipe does seem to be a little more moisturizing on the skin than the bar that you could buy at the grocery store so that's always nice because I find Irish Spring to be a little harsh on my skin at least. 
Our original plan didn't necessarily work, so we did have to pivot a little bit. My original design had this white color drop, dropping into the greens, but as you can see here, that soap base set up a little quicker than what we were planning on, so it didn't really drop swirl, it kind of just like mushed onto the top of the soap there. So Zach's gonna pour all of that white batter onto the top of this soap and scrape out the container because we don't need any more of that and then kind of smooth it out as much as possible. I believe in the original plan we had a mica drizzle already planned so after smoothing out that white soap base Zach will go in with some of that bright green mica just suspended in a little bit of oil and just do some lines from front to back. I wouldn't have categorized this fragrance as misbehaving like some that we've used, but this is a case where maybe my planning was a little optimistic, or just another of our variables in our recipe, either the colorants or that the divider takes a little bit longer than normal, like the normal soaping process that we do, um, causes everything to set up a little quicker, so you kind of have to be um, agile on your feet and roll with the punches so to speak which is exactly what Zach did here. I did cut out a little bit of kind of troubleshooting and decision making because um, it wasn't terribly interesting but trying to figure out what to do with the top design now that our original design of those nice kind of white drop swirls in with that green didn't work how we had planned it to be. I really like this design after that kind of swizzle and feathering technique, we will spritz it with some rubbing alcohol and cover it up and set it aside for 24 hours while it sets up, and then it is time to unmold and slice up. So this angle is really cool because you can see the very drastic differentiations between the two different colors there, and you can see a little bit of drop swirl just in one spot, and this is what that's what we were wanting kind of in the whole area. But you know what, it didn't work out, and that's okay. This soap smells really good, and the final design actually looks really nice as well. So one thing we did not film was that after we sliced this up, we did stamp it with a shamrock stamp, and I will insert a picture somewhere on the screen here so you can see that kind of to go in line with the other soaps that we made for this month because we were wanting that lucky charm theme to be pretty evident across the whole line and we wanted to have a little something else because our original design had some white breaking up that like sea of green that we got going on here so we did a nice gold shamrock right in the center of the bar and it really looks very nice and very on brand for for what we were going for for this month But that is it. That is our Shamrock Showers Soap 2024 edition. And that will be for sale online and in person starting March 1st. Definitely pick these up while they last because we do have a very limited supply of all of our March soaps. And we expect them to go pretty quickly. Especially this one because like I said it is one of our fan favorites of all time. It always sells out really quickly. If you do want to support the channel and get soaps and candles of the month from us, we do have a subscription service where you can get uh, packages from us every month, shoutouts at the end of videos, and discount codes as well. So definitely check out our website, rainbowcrafts.com, for more information on that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see what Rainbow Crafts comes up with next. Bye.